a lot. She is posting fake election results. Please, don't follow her. Aspirant cries out. One observers. All right, my people, no be smarting. Um, it is not only this aspirant that is crying out concerning this very person that is posting fake election results. Some other persons have been crying. Even uh, Peter Obi himself has been pleading and begging that uh, the INEC should do something about it. Um, one other uh, uh, Yoruba leader also cried on video that this should be ignored. That what this very um, person is uploading is not the real result. That we should pay attention carefully to what is being uh, is being posted and be sure of what is coming out. You know, can you imagine? People just go up there, get one result and put up on the internet and make people to start believing unnecessarily. Um, the person in question is the one that you know. She is an actor. She's an actor, a known actor for that matter. And um, well-respected one. I don't know why she must have gotten herself involved in this mess. It's a big slap. I will not believe this. I, in fact, I am so perplexed when I discover that she is the very person. All right, let's quickly check the contents and know who this person is. This is Evening News. Content creator Adams Kenye, aka Lege, has called out Nollywood actress Iyabo Ojo, accusing her of posting fake election results on the social media page. Some other personalities like the presidential aspirant Peter Obi and also top Yoruba leaders has also called her to order. In a post on his Instagram story, Lege accused Yabo Ojo of spreading fake news during the recent presidential election. He further called on her to be more responsible with her social media platform and avoid spreading fake information. The popular actress has been an active participant in the Nigerian political scene after using a platform to campaign for Peter Obi, the Labour Party candidate. No be smarting. No be smarting, my people. Um, the Tory don't go far. It don't go far. In fact, this lady really fucked up. She fucked up. You see, people can do anything for money. This is what they actually preached today. Now, we should be careful, most especially in this uh, election period. We have to be careful. We have to be watchful. Mind what we say, what we do. And I always nag on this, on this very platform that when information comes like this, don't be in a hurry to get, it, get hold of it. You know, you can get hold of it, but not fully um, grabbed. You know, use your left hand to get hold of it and source the information you know scan the information and see the authenticity of it okay when you see that it is true then you can hand it over to your right hand then do whatever you want to do with it and that is just it but so many of us were just too carried away by fake information we do what is called clip and drop pick and swallow that is what we do which is not the best now look at what is going on right now um a lot of things is going on right now in fact today um uh, election is not as pure as that of yesterday a lot of fraud is going on a lot of lies is going on cheating and what have you um the only thing we are praying to god is that god please 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 please, please don't allow any violence to occur um even if they want to fraud them fraud themselves but we don't want any violence for the sake of those that are voting you understand and that is just the truth of the matter all right my people like play like play we are getting to the top um let's quickly hear from you and let's know what you think and what's your own opinion on all that has just been said right now maybe don't forget to leave them below the comment section click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos thank you